Hello everyone and welcome to your Caribbean News and Culture. I'm Delinda Eiffel. Let's get right into some of the leading stories from the Caribbean islands. In Port-au-Prince, Haiti, protesters are growing in numbers and rage is escalating surrounding the removing of the country's current president, Michelle Martelly, from power. Earlier this week, in what is being recognized as the largest protest in Haiti since President Martelly took office three years ago, protesters set up burning barricades of tires and threw stones at police officers and pro-Martelly rivals as they marched in the country's capital. The intensity of the protesters led officers to use tear gas in efforts to disperse the raging protesters. Over the past few weeks, there has been a series of similar protests in Haiti with citizens expressing anger and frustration over the cost of living and ongoing political corruption. Protesters are accusing President Martelly of inadequately using the country's finances to splurge on personal luxurious items and international trips. Protesters are also angered due to an alleged failure by the government to hold legislative and local elections. When Haiti's president, Michel Martelly, took office three years ago after the catastrophic earthquake struck the country back in 2010, his promise was to give Haiti a fresh, new start and to bridge the country's gap between the past, present, and future. President Martelly disputes the allegations of enraged protesters and pleaded to the public that he is indeed efficiently tackling the country's economic and political issues. Barbados has launched a Break the Silence and Child Abuse campaign, which is geared towards combating all forms of child abuse. Minister of Education, Science, Technology, and Innovation, Ronald Jones, is calling on schools, church leaders, leading organizations, and the general public of Barbados to stand up and take action against child abuse in Barbados. At the campaign launch ceremony held earlier this week, Minister Jones pointed to the fact that child abuse appears in many shapes and forms. It could be physical, emotional, and mental, and he urged all governmental and non-governmental organizations, as well as parents and adults, to get on board with the Break the Silence and Child Abuse campaign in efforts to protect the children of Barbados. During the ceremony, some in attendance released purple balloons into the sky, symbolizing the initial launch of the campaign. In Jamaica, the government is expressing great concern regarding the consistent rise in the number of Jamaican citizens being turned back from Trinidad and Tobago upon their attempts to gain entry into TNT. Just this week, more than 12 Jamaican citizens were stopped and refused entry by immigration at Paracaro International Airport in Port of Spain, Trinidad, and they were later returned to Jamaica. Jamaica's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade is concerned with such actions from Trinidad and Tobago immigration officials and cautions them to remember the recent case in Barbados where the Caribbean Court of Justice ruled that the government of Barbados breached the right of Jamaican citizen Shanique Marie to enter the country under the Article 5 of the Revised Treaty Treaty of Sharokongas, by which she won over four million Jamaican dollars in a lawsuit against the government. The Jamaican government has urged all Jamaican citizens traveling to CARICOM territories to be in possession of proper documentation, to be aware of their freedom of movement rights, and to report all immigration-related incidents to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade in Kingston, Jamaica. Guyana opened the country's first spirometry lab and asthma education program earlier this week at the country's Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation. The launch of the lab and program is due to the collaborative efforts between Guyana's Ministry of Health, the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation, and the Calgary University in Canada. Asthma is a very common lung condition in Guyana and affects an estimated 1 in 10 Guyanese people ranging from infants to the elderly. 
While there is no cure for asthma, the new facility is expected to care for and guide patients on ways to manage their asthma and maintain normal, healthy lifestyles. This biometry lab and asthma education program is the newest phase in the Developing Canada-Guyana Partnership for Healthcare Development and is the first component in developing an innovative approach to fighting common chronic diseases throughout Guyana. Well, if you are all here in the United States or planning on traveling to Dominica anytime soon, you may like the sound of this. Dominica's national airline carrier, Caribbean Island Transport, is looking to offer nonstop flights to and from Fort Lauderdale, Florida to Dominica. The airline company recently opened a new facility in Florida and is hoping to begin this process by January 2014. This new initiative is expected to help build Dominica's economy and tourism, and the airline is offering something that a lot of airlines no longer offer, free food. <laughs> well, unfortunately, us here at YCNC, we are not a nonstop flight. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, our Culture Check segment will be waiting for us. Stay with us, we'll be right back. You're on your way to meet up with friends but you can't seem to get anywhere quickly. You don't want your friends to be annoyed, so you text. You're on your way. Five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting while driving. Make sure you get where you're going. <laughs> Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. So, I got this new family. And I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Welcome back to your Caribbean news and culture, everyone. It's time for a culture chat. All right, this week on our Culture Chat, we're going to highlight a gem in the publication industry. And it's going to be Gem Magazine. My pun was intended. Gem is a Gem Magazine. <laughs> um, Gem Magazine is a publication out of Guyana. However, the um, publishing, the guy who started it, his name is Simeon Corbin. He's currently in Guyana. So joining us here this week, we have Miss Coretta. Corbin, and you are the managing editor of um, Gem Magazine, and Mr. Augustus Corbin, we'll call you Gus, uh -huh. right? That's what they call you for uh -huh. short. <laughs> so welcome. Thank you both for being here. Thank now, you Coretta, me. let's um, start off. What led to the creation of Gem? Well, Gem, or Guyana Entertainment Magazine, mm -hmm. which is what Gem really means, really started over 10 years ago 
when Simeon, mm -hmm. he went home to Guyana, you know, everyone from the Caribbean, yeah. they always go home, home. for Christmas. Yes. So he went home for, in, for, to Guyana at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And as he was down there, he was having such a great time because there was so much entertainment stuff that was going on in the country. And he noticed that he was having this blast, but the television and all the media outlets in Guyana weren't talking about the entertainment that was going on in Guyana. They were focusing more on the negative aspects of Guyanese lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So he noticed that. And when he returned to Boston, he discussed it with us, what he, what he observed in the television, and he came up with the idea of um, starting a magazine that cover Guyanese, the lifestyle, the entertainment industry in Guy for, for Guyanese in Guyana mm -hmm. and across the diaspora. Okay. So at first, when he came up with this idea of this magazine, since we've been living up here in Boston for over 20 years, mm -hmm. we also bought into the idea that there's only negative things going on in Guyana from, you know, from the media. Right. So we were skeptical in the beginning, you know, the questions came up, you know, is, are, are there going to be enough information, mm. entertainment information to fill the magazine pages for a whole year, you know? So he said, he, th he felt strongly about it. Okay. So he went and he did a little more research on the topic. Mm -hmm. And then he decided in 2004, that he was going to resign from his job. At that time, he was the, uh, the st an, an auditor with the state of Massachusetts. Okay. So he de decided that he's going to resign from his job and return to Guyana to take a shot at um, trying this yeah. magazine thing. And what a shot so, it's been. <laughs> Come January, it'll be 10 years, 10 right? years, so exactly. That's, great. that's remarkable. Exactly. That's very good. So. Now talk to us a little bit about the publication framework because mm -hmm. from my understanding, there's many things that fall under the umbrella. You guys also have other publications. Yes. Um, as, we were, as we've been doing this publication, mm -hmm. we realized that there's more publications that could be done yeah. that you know, there's a niche market right. in Guyana that's not <laughs> being covered. Mm -hmm. So we decided to start an, uh, a parent company called Corbin Media Group. Mm -hmm. And on the, uh, on the Corbin Media Group, we created Gem is One magazine that we have, but we have also other, other magazines. Mm -hmm. One of them is a football magazine, which comes out once a year at uh, December. At, at December. Okay. We have a big... Um, football tournament, football or soccer, I should say, yeah, because in America. Yeah, in America. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a big uh, a football tournament or mm -hmm. soccer tournament that uh, occurs once a year in December month called Kashif and Shanghai. Mm -hmm. So the, the uh, football magazine comes out at that time, okay. once a year. We also have done a magazine called Mashramani. Mm -hmm. Up here in, in Boston, we call it Carnival. Okay. And in the other parts of the Caribbean, it's Carnival. But we call it Mashramani in Guyana. Okay. So we, we do a magazine for that, and it comes out once a year at February month okay. when, right when our carnival. Mm -hmm. Right. Another magazine that we do also is the Gulf, Guyana Gulf magazine. A lot of people don't know that Gulf is there's go they have a golf yeah. course in okay. Guyana, and golf is being played. And um, there's a tournament also that goes on for the golf. And people come from all over the, the world and mm -hmm. partake in the tournament. So the magazine comes out at that That's time of year. Good. Yeah, another magazine that we've also done is called Avos do Portuguese. It's, it focuses on the Portuguese ancestry in Guyana. Okay, is there a large which, pop Portuguese population? And it's not a very large population, but we, we do have some still. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of them have moved out into Canada and so okay. forth, but we still have Recognize many. Yeah. yeah, because they've, done, they've um, impacted the... the, uh, the um, business industry in Guyana. They okay. made a great impact in that. Okay. We also do, do a magazine called Izwe. Mm -hmm. Izwe, I-Z-W-E. -E. It's, it's, Izwe means Swahili. It's, in Swahili, it okay. means citizen. Okay. So that You're focus, teaching me a lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> so Izwe magazine focuses on, on um, yeah. the Af uh, people of Afro descent mm -hmm. in, in Guyana, focus on their history, and the impact that they've made in Guyana. In Guyana. Okay, great. So, so there's, there's, there's a lot under the there's, belt. There's yeah, a lot that a lot we do the other belt. than right. Gem Magazine. Gem Magazine. Mm -hmm. Now, Gus, you've been writing 
and contributing to publications for a very long time. Talk to us a little bit about the work you've done in the past and how it is for you, in essence, to see your children flourishing <coughs> in these type of print publications. It's, it's kind of gratification in a way. <coughs> I, when I um, began to do it with Dorchester Community News, it started as more as um, a volunteer thing. Mm -hmm. Because I liked, I came out from a newspaper background really in Guyana, which was the Argosy, company, Argosy newspaper and the Guyana graphic. I worked as a freelance writer from back in those days. And so when I came here in 1905, <coughs> Sorry. This, the same feeling, desire came to me of continuance along those roads. Right. Um, and there it was, I got in, encouraged to write for the Archers Com to Community News. Um, and then I contributed also to the Jamaican Gleaner, North American mm -hmm. edition. It's a very popular uh, one yeah. too. Yeah. And this, I covered so many events regarding the Caribbean community, um, the carnivals, the visits of prime ministers, ambassadors, the presentations, beauty pageants, nice. you name it. I, I covered all those <laughs> events. It, <laughs> it just dawned on my mind mm -hmm. so much. And I felt the same way too, the lack of information right. um, regarding Caribbean community. Um, since I stopped writing and the paper closed down in Dorchester Community News, there's nothing being written. Mm about um, the Caribbean community. Perhaps touching base with you may really revive my feeling yes, and desire right. to the, get back. Send the electricity <laughs> your way. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fascinating because, you know, our culture, our history must be maintained. That's true. I feel so strongly about it, the need for it to continue. I wonder why there are not more people or younger people getting involved as you are and so many that are out there because the skills are there, the desires are there, um, and so much is out there that we need to harness right. and to really bring to the fore to continue doing the things that I have done Absolutely. in the past. You know? Yes, don't, don't give up on us yet. No, no, no. <laughs> as many contributions as we can, we, we need in our community. Mm -hmm. Now, Coretta, um, talk to us a little bit about GEM. Um, people mm -hmm. who haven't heard of it before, and I've actually mm -hmm. seen, we couldn't, you know, the viewers, they've been able to see it as an image. But the publication is really, really good quality. I mean, from the content to the actual structure, the texture, everything. Okay. So for our viewers who are watching, talk to us about why they should pick up a copy of GEM. What's within GEM? Wow. GEM, we cover a lot of information in GEM. And people should pick up GEM because it tells you a lot about the Guyanese lifestyle, the mm -hmm. Guyanese culture. Mm -hmm and the entertainment that goes on down there. So Jim... Um, and fashion too, you guys well, touch on we, fashion. Well, we covered travel. Travel. We, you know, for example, like the last couple of issues, we did a piece on the, the, the uh, botanical gardens, nice. which is a big garden yeah. in Guyana. And uh, we did one on like various historic sites. Mm -hmm. So we do travel, we do a, a, a feature called Spotlight, okay. where we highlight like uh, different charity organizations that's making a difference in Guyana. Mm -hmm. We do fashion, as you said. Yeah, yeah. One of our first um, cover person mm -hmm. was um, a famous fashion designer from Guyana. Okay. I think she should be known across the Caribbean, named Sonia Noel. Okay. We also covered um, Jumo Primo. Okay. He was a singer with uh, Byron Lee and the Dragoneers. So people should pick up, um, yeah, so especially if they're going to be going to Guyana, right. to know what's going to be going on in the country. You, you, you should pick up GEM to get that get information. That information right. And yeah. it's, you know, I think it appeals mm -hmm. to more of a youthful group. And, and exactly, in essence, exactly. Yeah. And, and that's, like you said, that's what we want to capture, sure, right. the, the young audience. We, we've done a piece on, um, for the past couple of issues, we've been doing features on on the 20 age group mm -hmm. on the 40. and on the 40 age group, mm -hmm. we Good. did one in the last feature Good. of all the young people that's making a difference in their career, in their in sports, mm. and you know. So, 
that's what we want to right, capture, capture that young age group that's now you're taking doing, over you're doing a great job <laughs> at it. Emerging. and guys if you want to um, get more information on how you can get stuff in regards to gem you can take a look at your screen they have a facebook page make sure you give them a thumbs up on facebook you can email them and you can also um, email for to get your subscription so mm -hmm. jot down all that information and we'll take a break and we'll be right back Hey girl, que pasa? Our weekend was crazy, from what I can remember. Wait, wait, wait. So down, Chica, take it easy. A what? A picture of me? Who sent it to you? How did she get it? I'm not even friends with her. You gotta send it to me now. This must have been from Saturday night. I was so high. Who do you think got it? Hey, Lindsay. I wish you didn't smoke weed. You're not the same when you smoke. And I miss my friend. I'll be outside. Welcome back to your Caribbean news and culture, everyone. We've been spending our time here on the Culture Chat chatting about Gem Magazine, which is Guyana Entertainment Magazine. And joining us is managing editor, um, Ms. Coretta Corbin, and Gus Corbin, who is a distinguished writer himself, and now he's somewhat looking at his kids take over <laughs> the path that he's laid out. Now we have a couple minutes left in the show. Talk to us a little bit about some th other things that you're working on. I know you just published your first children's book, <laughs> Pee Pee Poo Poo. <laughs> I mean, it, it gives a, a reaction of a giggle, but I think the name is remarkable. Very good marketing strategy. Talk to yes. us about Pee Pee Poo Poo. <laughs> right, Pee Pee Poo Poo is my first children's book, mm -hmm. and it's for children with bad wetting issues. Mm -hmm. Basically, I wanted to give support to them because sometimes children who might be experiencing that problem might think something is wrong with That's them. That's true. So I know Guilty. growing up, growing up, <laughs> yes. we growing up in the Caribbean, that was one of our yeah. issues in our household, mm -hmm. you know, wetting the bed. So people who focus on bed wetting, not potty training. Okay. There's a, a difference. difference. There is exactly. a difference. You're right. Exactly. Most books on the market look at potty training, training. Right. But people who is both bed wetting and having accidents and mm -hmm. so it's basically to lend support to the to kids. kids and mm -hmm. people can purchase that book on amazon amazon.com or barnesandnoble.com okay and if the holidays is coming up that's a great time to yeah. purchase that book put it in a stocking or something yep, that's exactly. really good and you're also um <laughs> working on some other things in terms of the publications right as far as um corby media group right we are trying to work on other publications one that i can think off my head right now is called the diplomat magazine mm -hmm. and that's focusing on the diplomatic community in guyana okay very yes. good, very yes. good. So you guys have a lot of publications on the about. That's good. And it's good that right. 10 years in, you can see the progress right. and how it's just developed over the years. Right. Now, Gus, <laughs> my distinguished writer, <laughs> what do you have um, on your plate coming up? It seemed that I would be more involved. And hopefully, I've now become a member of BNN. Okay. Welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> I have been here years ago. And it's dawned in my mind recently to get back in the fore of doing production-wise. Back in the days, Wendy was one, is still one of those people bought around the neighborhood, does it. Joe Collins and a whole host of other people who may not be around. But for, for some reason, 
we love what we were doing mm -hmm. back in those days. The camera, getting around, doing interviews with people um, in the community and showcasing it on Boston Neighborhood Network, which is a great opportunity for the neighborhood to have highlighted in things that is taking place in our community. Absolutely. Such a wonderful opportunity. So I'm hoping that I may be on television in the near future. Yes, I'm well, look out for, for you. I'm Gus looking, Corbin, guys, look out. <laughs> I'm looking, about, looking forward for that. I think th there's some ideas that I have, and the class that I'm in now, it's seemingly that there are people who share some of those interests as well. So I'm good. hoping that I can some make Some collaborative make efforts, effort maybe. That would be really good, yes, really good. Yes, yes. There's, like I always say, there can never be too much. No. Like no. our Caribbean community, we need these type so of much. positive, uplifting, right. Not enough highlight. publication, not, not enough, enough um, yeah. media pu publication right. to highlight the things that we have done and doing right. as a whole. You know? I mean, just from this interview alone, I've been informed on so many things that you've mm -hmm. mentioned in terms of the culture of Guyana, but, you know? But, but so. you, you have not tapped into that yet because the folklore in Guyana is mm -hmm. fascinating, you know, and this community does not do anything about mm -hmm. the culture of Guyanese culture, and particularly the folklore. Right. It's an idea I've had to, of the written word, mm -hmm. poetry, um, singing, mm -hmm. folklore singing. Things need to be highlighted. We've got quick, quick, quick. Yeah, you know, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's when when couples are getting married at an event that is held the night before okay. to celebrate the coming of that e event. Yeah. I, well, I, well, well, we, that's why we need you on board to come bring light to all those so, things. There's so much we need to, yeah, highlight. to highlight. And I hope we can do that in the future. That would be great. And in the meantime, while we wait for Gus to bring us all these information, <laughs> we need you guys to definitely check out and get subscribed to Gem Magazine. It's honestly a great public. I will be subscribing and, and it actually comes out bi-monthly. Bi we need to make Every mention of months, that. Yes. Bi-monthly right. Gem Magazine comes out. That's all the time we have this week. Thank you both for being here. Catch the Thank repeat of our us. show Saturday and Sunday at 10.30 in the morning. We're always on the web, yourcaribbeannews.com. Give us that thumbs up on Facebook, facebook.com slash YCNC13. Special thanks to our BNN studio crew, and of course, thank you at home for watching. I'm Belinda Eiffel. See you next time.